Hey guys, it's Abdul Samid from Personal Supercross Shopper, and today I am very excited. I've been invited to come to the outlet Milton Keynes to get to see the new RSQ8. Unfortunately, I can't see the RS6 because this is somebody's car. But today we'll walk around the RSQ8, show you what it's offered, what's good, what's bad, and then go from there. But I'm excited, so let's, let's go and see. So the showroom is empty, so the great thing is they've emptied it for me, so I feel quite privileged. But we've got some wicked cars, we've got the RS Q3 Sportback, the RS3 um, Q3 over there, RS5, Ray, S3, Q5, I'm not too sure about this colour on the Q5. It looks good on the, um, the RS Q3, but on the Q5, uh, S7, the new model again. TTRS, I ain't gonna lie, this particular one, I'm quite disappointed. Um, so, it's the normal RSQ8, so the worst thing about this particular spec and model is you get 22s. So then you can get 23s as an additional option, but they're only available in silver. So you have to go for the carbon edition in order to get it in black 23 inches. So the thing I'm disappointed about, and the other thing is down here, you don't have a black side pack or carbon finish. So to have that in black or in a carbon finish, you have to go for a carbon edition again. So slightly disappointed, but to be honest, it's still a monster. Underneath the hood of the new RS QA is a four litre V8 twin turbo, eight chiptronic speed automatic, which produces 600 PS, which is 592 brake horsepower and 800 newtons meter of torque. Okay, so I'm inside the RS Q8 now, and the interior, as always, Audi always do a fantastic job on the display, the dash, everything about it is great. This interior is incredible. The stitching on the Super Sport seats with the RS design, insane, insane. On the previous RS6 models, it's very similar, but this is just that one step better. Um, so in my, in my opinion, I think it's wicked. <laughs> Another good thing with the new RS Q8 is you now have an RS button on your steering wheel. First time, um, you've never really had it before, but the good thing is now if you were to press that button, it goes to the new display on your virtual cockpit. So it goes to your RS Sport mode, um, which then shows you power, your torque, but then you press it again and then it goes back to its normal settings. So very different but so much better. And one of the great thing is when you do press that, it changes the dynamic of the car. So the uh, RS drive select kicks in. The only downside with this particular model, not being the carbon edition of the Horsprung, it doesn't have like a carbon finish interior, which to be honest, is, I think it needs it. I think it has that little bit more. So the actual infotainment system within the new RS Q8 is, it's good, man. I know I always used to be a fan of the Swizzle 
button that you used to get in the um, Audi models before, but I know Audi have now gone away from that, everything's now touchscreen. The great thing with this new Q8, or Irish Q8, sorry, being haptic feedback, every time I press a button, or an icon on the screen, it feels like a button. And then um, it's very responsive. I press a button, it goes to where it needs to go, and there's no lag on your sat nav. So yeah, I really, really like that, it's really good. So the climate control at the bottom, advanced, um, the only downside is I prefer the old button system. So we just press a button, so when you're driving you know what you're pressing and you get to your um, temperature rate. Whereas now, I have to keep looking down, look up, look down, look up. So I think I'll probably say I might not be keen on, but to be honest, it, it looks so good you can't really complain. The cockpit itself is sublime, really, really cool. So I've sat in the back of the RS Q8 and there's loads of space, being a luxury SUV, it has more space than you need. The boot space in the RS Q8 is the same as a normal Q8, so it's big enough. So taking prams, taking shopping, taking golf clubs, it, it will fit fine. So I don't see that being an issue to be fair. I'm allowed to start it, so let's, let's see how it sounds. It's gonna be closer. All right, so I'm just gonna start it up. All right, it's got it's got a roariness to it, quite meaty. Just gonna let it roll up a little bit. It's nice. I like how all the lights have to glow, and because it's got the electric steering wheel, it goes back to my previous setting, so it comes down and goes up. So that's nice. I really, really like that. Can I give it a quick rev? It's all right. Yeah, it sounds good. Obviously, you keep. I know it's not warm. I know it's not been running, so it's not going to have exactly what I wanted to hear but to be honest it, it's it's nice so walking around the car um, I'm impressed to be fair it does look really really cool um, I think the best thing about it is even though it's a Q8 RS Q8 you can tell the difference with the with the bigger arches with the bigger grille finish, the um, the interior, the exterior. Think of everything about the car, you can tell that it is an RS model. Um, one of the badges give it away, but it is. It does look like it and it does feel like it. But the only thing is though, after seeing this model, I would say definitely, definitely go for the RS Q8 carbon because you get all the black styling kit, the upgraded alloys. It has that more of aggressive look and it's probably the one that has been mostly advertised throughout the web and YouTube and all that kind of stuff. The only thing I would say is Comfort and Soundpack and Redbrake Calipers are an option on the, on the um, carbon and sunroof is an option. Add them on, 100% will make a big difference. But if, if you want to spend a little bit more, go for the Vorsprung and then you get everything, literally every option in the book. But other than that, I would say it's a great, great car. But I just want to say thank you to Milton King Daddy for allowing me to come in today and see the RSQ8. If you like the video, please like, subscribe. Um, all the information is down in the link below. Um, but I want to say thank you for watching and have a good day.